Well, I was able to get the 18 tooth pinion gear to fit. I used holes A and D. You can refer back to my previous video or I'll also put a link in the video description from a post I made in RC10, um, the RC10 forum, uh, the Kyosho part of it. Uh, so you can see where A and D is if you don't have the manual. But it's actually the original holes and I suppose it's because the original pinion is 14 teeth and the idle gear is 36 so you add those teeth up and it's 50 and with the setup I have here now it's a 32 tooth idle gear and an 18 tooth pinion so the total is again 50. I'm not 100% sure the math works like that but it, it seems to and that the uh, original A and D holes uh, seem to work with the 18 tooth pinion so some of those extra modifications I had to do to fit the 17 tooth in there doesn't look like you need to do that with the 18 tooth um, so it would be a lot simpler actually. Now the pinion I bought was a red cat 18 tooth and it might be hard to see but down there is the black red cat one and the, the base where the uh, grub screw is is significantly deeper than the uh, I guess it's probably a Kyosho one which was the 17 tooth the silver one there that's made out of aluminum. I was worried that it was going to have clearance issues because if you look down in there it actually sits just inside that metal motor mount ring but it does not appear to have any clearance issues so even though it's a little larger and the tooth area is a little wider uh, I set it so that the left side of the pinion is even with the left side of the idle gear it actually sticks out a little further on the right but there's no harm there so I think it's gonna be okay and uh, playing with the mesh, I didn't do the paper trick. Uh, I've never been a big fan of that. But I think there's just enough play there that that's about ideal. It's pretty close to I had it before, and it seemed happy. So I'm going to give this a shot, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and... GPS it again, and I don't think it's going to crack 40, but I'm going to give it a shot on the uh, the tall tires, and then I'm going to, again, look for some smaller tires and see if that helps the handling. So my next video may well be a speed run, and I'm going to try to get, I think 39 might be attainable. So we shall see. Maybe if I pull that front bumper off, we could get 40. But, uh... That's kind of silly that I'm doing this for the a reader. It seems in the vintage forms people have no interest in my speed runs, but I don't know. I guess maybe I'm just very unique. I, I think it's fun to get speeds out of this car that I could never have dreamt of as a, as a kid. So there we go, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated when I get a chance to, to do a speed run. It might be this weekend.